What up, YouTube man? It's your boy NBM back again with another one. And today I'm about to teach you how to mix an R&B vocal. And you can apply these to your backgrounds. Whatever you got going on with your mix, you can use the same thing. But I'm gonna show you what to adjust and how to adjust and what you should do to tweak those sounds. And it doesn't take a whole lot of plugins to get this done. I see a lot of people using the gripper plugins. We're gonna get that vocal to stand out over that beat. We're gonna get that beat smashing. Well, we ain't gonna get the beat smashed just yet because we ain't mixing the beat. Also, I got some templates coming for you guys. I got a Logic Pro template. Uh, with stock plugins, I got a um, Studio One template coming with stock plugins. But I don't want to talk too much in this video. I want to get straight to the point and get y'all to mix it quick. But before we get into this tutorial, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification that'll keep you guys in tune with all the latest content I drop. Also, make sure you like and comment below. Before we get into this tutorial, man, you know what I gotta do, man. I gotta roll that intro first. Let's get it. So let's get it going, man. Hey, look, so um, pretty much how I mix an R&B vocal, pretty much I already got the vocal chain up. I'm actually giving you guys this vocal chain, but I'm going to show you how I mix this vocal and every step to take to do it. Like, the crazy part about it is I just mixed this vocal, and I don't want to do it again, and, and, and my screen recording wasn't recording. I'm so pissed, dude. So I'm just finding another method on sh uh, showing you guys. So I'm going to uh, mute all this, take all this off. And the crazy part about it is I'm going to show you guys how to bust, too. I don't know why I did that. We can leave these on. So um, let's let's just play it from the beginning and through the hook and then I'll show you guys how to mix this R&B vocal. It's about time So pretty much, man, that's, you know, um, that's the vocal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it to about here. I'm going to actually uh, mute these right here. I'll mute the uh, two other vocals real quick. And let's get started like this. So let's play that. It's about time. Okay, so my my first approach to uh, vocal is what I like to do is I like to use a gate plug in. Some of you guys may have an untreated room. You may have like a lot of noise in your background, dogs barking and stuff like that. A lot of things going on that may end up being on your vocal. And it may be a good take and you don't want to get rid of that take. So what you can do is you can use a gate plug in. So basically I'll open up the gate. And to get to that plug in, all you got to do is go to dynamics and then boom, you'll see noise gate at the bottom here. So use noise gate to uh drain some of that stuff out of the background so let's cut it on and then i like to push the threshold to about 45 you don't have to touch anything else but the threshold so let's check it out with that it's about time you got what you needing stop wasting your time i don't know what your ex was thinking there ain't another nigga like me that's real baby yeah And that's what I'm trying to do for you. It's about time. You got what you needin'. Stop wasting your time. I don't know what your ex was thinking. So pretty much you catching, you know, all that noise in the background when it's opening and closing. You just trapping some of the noise. That way you can hear more of the vocal and, you know, get a good get a good sound out of the vocal. So this is the step I take to, you know, to start cleaning up the vocal and stuff like that. So that's what I do with that. So use a gate plug in to start your uh, vocal off with. Because basically what we want to do right now, we want to clean the vocal first before we get to the compression and stuff like that. We want to actually clean the vocal. So let's close that out. And then the next vocal I like to use is a Channel EQ. 
So basically what the Channel EQ is, what I like to do is I like to dig for frequencies, uh, frequencies and stuff like that. So I'm going to actually take this and I'm going to recall the default. And I'll just do this from scratch for you guys so you guys can get a better understanding. So the first thing I like to do is I like to click on this band right here. I like to roll off a little bit of the uh, bass um, from the vocals. So I like to take this to about 100. Usually 90 to, 90 to 100 is perfectly fine. You just want to clean some of this area up. Just remember the 808 and the kick t also tends to sit in this area. So you don't want everything to be clashing together as far as the 808, the kick, and the vocal. So that's why when I'm mixing tracks, I like to roll all that off. When we, we get to that when we mix and stems. But right now, I want to show you guys how to you know properly get the EQ going. So the next band we're going to do is uh, the yellow band. We're going to take that to about 200. 200 take that to about 200 now to listen for these frequencies what you want to do is you just want to roll this up to about 620 so what you want to listen out for is you want to listen to like a, a loud whistle you want to listen to like hollowness and stuff like that so if you hear that that stuff that shouldn't be in a mix and you want to bring that down so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna bring that all the way up around 200 and then we can just move it around and just listen to the frequencies but 200 is where i'm gonna cut this so check it out it's about time you got what you're needing Stop wasting your time I don't know what your ex was thinking There ain't another nigga like me That's be real, baby, yeah And that's what I'm trying to do for you oh, It's about time you got what you needin'. Stop wasting your time. I don't know what your ex was thinking. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit this. I'm going to hit the DB around negative 3 DB. Boom. I'm going to take this back down to uh, about 98. 98 is perfectly fine. Let's play it back. It's about time. You got what you needin'. Stop wasting your time. I don't know what your ex was thinking. There ain't another nigga like me that's be real, baby, yeah. And that's what I'm trying to do for you. Okay, so remember, you don't need the beat to do this. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go to the next band. We're going to go to the green band, and we're going to take this one to about... 350 well actually let's just let's listen for it like i said we want to listen for whistles and stuff like that in the verse now you can do a precision cut precision you can do a precision uh eq later you know what i mean where you want to do some surgery and stuff but right now i'm just showing you the frequencies you can take out right now to just clean your vocals up a little bit to get to the compression because that's what we want to get to we want to clean this up get to the compression that's is what that's what's going to give us a good compression you know what i mean so Let's just, um, let's bring this up. Let's take the DB up all the way to 24. Let's play it. It's about time. You got what you needin'. Stop wasting your time. I don't know what your ex was thinking. So we got a little whistle right there. So we're going to take that down to negative 3 DB. Boom. You know what I'm saying? Let's take this down to about 180. I don't like to do it as the same as the uh, yellow one I got over there. So I'll take this to about 180. Play it back. It's about time. You got what you needin'. Stop wasting your time. I don't know what your ex was thinking. Big difference, man. You know what I mean? So, and then the next band I like to take out is 500 off top. Any, you know, 500 kind of take the thinnest out of the vocals. And then with this band, I like to take this up to about seven. Take it up to about seven. And then just pull this down to about negative 2.7, somewhere around there. It's about time you got what you needin'. Stop wasting your time. I don't know what your ex was thinking. There ain't another nigga like me that's been real, baby. Yeah. And that's what I'm trying to do for you. Okay, so. That's pretty much cool right there. But like I said, you can use any EQ. So if you got Pro Tools, you can use the seven band EQ. You got Studio One, you can use a Pro EQ. You can use any EQ for this, you know what I mean? As long as you got enough bands. And um, you know, you can do a lot of cleaning. Now there's more cleaning you can do. You can listen for frequencies around here, but you don't want to make your vocals start, you know, you don't want your vocals to start sounding too thin. So let's move on to the next plugin, which will be our compression. Now, with the compression, what we want to do is so the compressor I like to use is the classic VCA. That's the compressor I like to use. So 
make sure you turn off the auto gain because remember we recording our vocals uh, at negative 12 dB. So now we adding, you know, another 12 negative. Now we adding, adding another, another 12 dB to it. It's going to have our vocals screaming pretty loud. And we're not going to be able to compress the song the way we want to. So with the makeup gang, I, I, I turned it up to about 7, you know, 7.0. With the, uh, with just using one compressor, I like to use it at 4 to 1. Now if, I'm, now, if I'm doing some parallel compression with vocals, I like to use 2 to 1. And then the next one, I'll use 16. But I'll actually turn the mix down to like... 20 you know what i'm saying and then a threshold that's what we want to play with when we're uh getting ready to uh start compressing our vocals so what we want to do is we want to take those high peaks in the vocals the ones that you see on the wave file you know it'd be smooth then you see like a high peak then it'd be smooth you see another high peak we want to take those transients and we want to squash them we want to bring them down and we don't we want to we want to make them evenly level so that way when we're compressing when we're, when we're actually listening to the song everything sounds smooth on the vocals so now the only thing we're going to move is the threshold now we didn't set our ratio we got our makeup gain up let's check it out it's about time you got what you needing stop wasting your time i don't know what your ex was thinking there ain't another nigga like me that's real baby yeah and another thing when you're compressing just make sure you hit past negative 10 dB or, you know, a little bit before that. Now, if you're a person, maybe your your vocals may be a little bit different from mine or a little bit different from Sequence Clark. What you want to do is just dial it in to where it sounds really good to you, to where it sounds, you know, it sounds evenly balanced and it sounds nice and nice and compressed. You just want to make sure it sounds good. So, like I said, anything past 20, any anything past the middle of this negative 10 dB, if you're around here in negative 20, 30, it's going to squash out your vocal, so therefore you're losing a lot of your vocal to compression. So you definitely want to just make sure you add a little bit of compression. Now, when you're parallel, we, we'll get to the parallel compression uh, later. Well, I'll teach you how to do that later. But, um, yeah, you want to make sure it's hitting around, you know, negative 5 dB to negative 10 dB and it's sounding good to you. So let's listen again. It's about time you got what you needing. Stop wasting your time. I don't know what your ex was thinking. So I like it right there. You can also add some distortion to your verse, you know, to your vocal. Let's hear it with a little with a little bit of distortion to see how it sounds. You can use soft or hard, depending on what sounds good to you. It's about time. You got what you needin'. Stop wasting your time. I don't know what your ex was thinking. There ain't another nigga like me that's real, baby. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to do for you uh -huh. It's about time You got what you needing Stop wasting your time I don't know what your ex was thinking so yeah, that distortion sound real good. Like I like to use that, you know what I mean? Like a soft distortion sounds pretty good. Boosting vocals up just a little bit more. And um yeah, and that's that's it for the compressor. Now, like I said, you got the platinum digital, you got all these, but the classic VCA is pretty much a good compressor that's on, you know, as a stock plug in for uh logic. So use that compressor right there, man, and you'll get away with it smooth and clean. And using a parallel uh, we're gonna talk about that later. So let's not let's not confuse you guys' minds. Let's close that up. And then the next thing we want to do is we want to add some EQ. We want to boost the highs a little bit. So <clears throat> I'll take that back to zero. Now, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, there we go. So the uh, EQ I like to use is the uh, Vintage Console. So that's in the EQ area. You go to EQ, and then you go to vi uh, Vintage EQ Collection, and that'll be the Console EQ. And then from here, we just want to add a little high gain. So, you know, uh, far to the right end of your uh, vocals, it'll be your high end part. So you want to bring that up a little bit to get some clarity clarity in it. And then, um, you know, you can use some mid. You can actually use the mid if you want to. So let's just play it, and then let's use the uh, high gain real quick, see how it sound. It's about time you got what you needin'. Stop wasting your time, I don't know what your ex was thinking. There ain't another nigga like me that's real, baby, yeah. And that's what I'm trying to do for you. It's about time you got what you 
what you needin' Stop wasting your time, I don't know what your ex was thinking. There ain't another nigga like me, that's real, baby, yeah Okay, so, like, that sounds good to me So remember, depending on what kind of mic you have You may have, like, a mic that give you, like, some good You gotta have a good high-end mic when you're doing your vocals So you may not want to add too much, um EQ high and EQ to it You may not want to add uh, A high frequency You don't want to add Too much to it So that'll be HF You don't want to add Too much that to it So you know Your mic already Giving you a little bit So just really be careful With this That way you won't You know mess up Your vocal and going on So let's close that And then After all that You definitely want to add A de to your uh, vocals So Instead of using The uh, relative We're going to use The uh, absolute And we're going to Go straight to that one Now with this one Like his vocals doesn't really have a lot of syllables going on. Like, you don't really hear a lot of the S's and T's sticking out so much. So, I took it to 30, but I'll bring it up so you guys see. You guys can see what I'm talking about. It's about time. You got what you needin'. Stop wasting your time. I don't know what your ex was thinking. There ain't another nigga like me that's real, baby, yeah. It's about time. You got what you needin' Stop wasting your time I don't know what your ex was thinking. There ain't another nigga like me That's real, baby, yeah so that's cool. Like I said, with the uh, deesser, you don't have to you you don't have you don't have to mess with any of this. You don't have to mess with the uh, max reduction. You don't have to if you don't want to. But I normally bring the max reduction up here to uh, five point three, and then um, from there you can squash it. But it all depends on your vocal and how you know what type of mic you're using. You may have a mic that's crazy on the syllables with the S and T. So like this um, this WA eighty seven R two, I believe you know like the S's on this is mad crazy. So yeah, so definitely add a de to your mix. And then the next thing we want to do is we want to add some reverb to our mix. So, like I said, I use the uh, Silver Verb. The, uh, I believe that's what it's called. Yeah, Silver Verb. And um, before we use the reverb, what we want to do is we want to actually get the time of the reverb. So with your reverb, you can actually take your wet to 70%. And um, you don't have to mess with any of this, the room size, or anything like that. And... Um, your low cut, your low cut, and your high cut. I don't mess with that because I'm gonna actually do that with an EQ. So, um, but what we do, what, what we do, what, what we want to do is we want to actually get the actual pre-delay time right. So, in order to get the pre-delay time right, you want to calculate this. So, you want to go over to this website that I use, which is called Music by Darcy, and um, you want to go to Music by Darcy. So, the tempo to this song is 155. And um, so at a half note at 155, my uh, my delay time would be uh, in milliseconds. So it's in milliseconds. So it'll be point seven. It'll be point seven seventy four. Uh, with your delay time, with the delay time. So in your delay time, you'll type in point seven seventy four, depending on the tempo of your song. So if you got like a tempo that's like ninety, which would be like a uh, instead of a half note, it'd be a quarter note. You'll type in whatever the uh, tempo is, and then you'll get the milliseconds right here. But for your pre-delay time, you're going to actually click on 132, and this will give you uh, milliseconds for your pre-delay time. So on this reverb, for pre-delay time, I'm going to actually type in 48. So that'll give me the actual reverb time. So that way you get a smooth and dope-ass reverb. You know, you won't just be getting like a whole bunch of reverb, a whole bunch of hall effect and stuff like this. So... What you do is at pre-delay, you're just going to double click it and you're just going to type 48 and that's going to be your pre-delay time. Now, it may start you off at like 18 or something like that or whatever, 20, but you're going to actually type in the pre-delay time for that. And then for the uh, actual preset, I like to use Hall for uh, R&B. Now, with rap, I like to use um, a plate, you know, a plate reverb, but I don't see this having a plate reverb in here. But uh, anyways, so um, yeah, so there, let's play it back and then... What, and then also what you want to do is with that, so since we set our reverb up, you know, we want to actually dial our reverb in. And then, let's see. So I also added a, uh, I added an EQ with it. So I rolled off about 500 on the reverb. So just make sure you roll off 500 with the reverb. Take that off right there. So, you know, you're just cleaning up, the, you're just cleaning up the reverb a little bit, and you know, all up in the bass area. So like it don't sit, you know, with your uh, kick and everything like that. Because remember, you got reverb kicking on 
your uh, vocals, you may have it on your clap, your snare, your hi-hats, and stuff like that. So you definitely want to roll this off on the reverb. So that way all the reverb won't be clashing together. Everything can start coming together and sounding smooth. The uh, music can start sounding good to you. So make sure you roll that off. Easy stuff, man. And um, let's play it back. And then re remember, um, so when you do add the reverb, when you do add the bus, so, okay, I don't know if you guys know how to bus a reverb. So let's, let's say, for instance, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here because it's going to look like this, okay? It's going to be blank. So but instead, I'm going to go to that arrow. I'm going to go to bus, and I'm going to add, boom, I'm going to add my reverb. Then you'll see the bus channel come up over here, so that'll be bus too. Um, if you guys are not familiar with how to bus and stuff like that, I'll show you guys in another video, which is pretty simple. And then um, from there, that'll be your uh, channel, the same way we uh, – did it with the verses i didn't show you that but i'll show you with the verses too so you guys i know what to do and how to actually get to actually use this vocal chain inside of that so that way you know i, I won't forget to do that so let's play it it's about time you got what you needing stop wasting your time i don't know what your ex was thinking there ain't another nigga like me that's been real baby yeah and a good part about this is that you can control you can control this bus with this knob. So you don't have to go inside of that and mess with the reverb anymore. You can control how you want it to sound, how much you want, you know, on your vocals by controlling this knob right here. So use this knob to control, you know, how, how loud you I mean how much reverb you want on it. So just play it and just, you know, like I'll bring it all I'll bring it back to uh right here. It's gonna be loud, but you know, we'll dial it down to where we want it. Whoa. It's about time You got what you needin' Stop wasting your time I don't know what your ex was thinking. There ain't another nigga like me That's been real, baby, yeah Okay, cool So, now we got the delay going I mean, we got the reverb going Now we wanna bust a delay So we're gonna do the same thing here We're gonna go right here Where it's empty We're gonna click on the down arrow We're gonna go to bus and then we're gonna go to bus three and then name that delay. So what I mean by name a delay is go down to the bottom down here, double click it and just name it delay, boom, and you're ready to go. So now that we got our delay, so the delay we're gonna use is the um, is the uh, stereo delay. I don't use no other delay with the stock plugins with this, I use the stereo delay. So let's open that up. Now what you wanna do is you wanna hit uh, tempo sync, sync the uh, delay up with your beat. So this song being a half being a uh, half note, I go to notes, hit a half note on this one, go to note on the uh, right, hit a half note on that one. Boom, we got that going. And then for the low cut, remember when I said when we seen it, I said we're gonna just uh, we're gonna well that was for the reverb, but for this we're gonna use the low cut for this. So we're gonna set that at 96, the high cut at 5300. So you can do the same on yours, same on the uh, right side. And then for the feedback, you know we can take it to about like 50. Feedback is just how much delay you want to go with the vocal. You know, it can be like, hey, 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 hey. It's how much you want. Or you can just go, hey, hey. So how much however, how, how much feedback you want is how much you want to put. But for the output mix, I definitely put it at 80% uh, on both. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to set it up. So in order to get to this, all you got to do is um, like click right here, go to delay, and then stereo delay. Boom. That's it. Let's cut it on, and then let's play it. And like I said, you guys can dial it in. So, you know, make sure you got it down from here and just dial in your delay. Uh, let's activate it first. And remember right here, you want to hold uh, options, and you want to left-click it. Left-click it, hold option, and left-click it. That'll take this to zero. You want both of these to look like that. Now let's dial it in. It's about time. You got what you needin' Stop wasting your time I don't know what your ex was thinking. There ain't another nigga like me That's be real, baby, yeah And that's what I'm trying to do for you Eating better Eating better oh. It's about time you need it, need it. Stop wasting your time. I don't know what your ex was thinking. Well, yeah, I'm gonna give you some real. You can feel me. You can feel yeah. it. Another nigga like me. That's real. That Baby, yeah. I don't even need him better. Need him better. Need him better. Need him better. That's what I'm trying to decide. Need him better. He 
need him better. Need him better. All right, cool. So I like it right there. So now, and then also what you can do too is you can take an EQ and you can actually turn it into a telephone effect. So those delays have become telephone effects now. So all you got to do is hit this first band, hit this first red band, take it to 48, and then hit it to about hit the hertz to about 525. And then what you want to do is take this uh, this band down here, you know, take your uh, high end band right here and take it to 5350, 48 right here. You guys get a good look at it so you can set it the same. And then take your blue band and take it to 20, 2680 hertz. And then what you want to do is do a plus uh, 8.4 dB, 98 right here. And then this will give you a telephone effect. Let's play it. It's about time You got what you need and need it Stop wasting your time I don't know what your ex was thinking I'm gonna give you something on. real You can fix There ain't another nigga like me That's be real, baby, yeah And that's what I'm trying to do for you oh. It's about time you got what you needin' Stop wasting your time I don't know what your ex was thinking. Well, yeah, I can give you something on. real You can feel me. You can feel yeah. it. another nigga like me That's real that Baby, well, I don't even need him better Need him better Need him better Alright, cool And then Now, so what I like to do is once I get everything going, I got it to sound the way I want to. Now you can add a limiter to you, a limiter to it. It's up to you. I'm also added in a preset. I mean, in a uh, vocal chain uh, preset that I'm gonna give you guys. So let me just play it real quick with the limiter and just make sure it ain't too loud. It's about time you got what you need and need it. Stop wasting your time. I don't know what your ex was thinking. Well, yeah, I can give you something on. real. Now, the limiter going to bring out all that. It's going to bring out the delays because now the vocal is sitting up a little louder. You'll hear it more. But what I like to do is I like to blend my vocals in now. So what I normally do is I'll use I'll use uh, Ozone, but I'm not going to use Ozone today. So I'll use a plug-in, a, a actually stock plug-in for you guys. And remember to set your level meter down there at the bottom. Don't ever, don't let, don't ever let the level meter sit in the middle. You won't get the right dB. So I like to... Um, uh, mix it in mono real quick just to blend my vocals in real quick just to get the vocals to sit right with the beat so what i'm gonna do is don't use the game button at all just use the mono button so let's start i'm gonna cut it on and we're gonna start blending the vocals in it's about time you got what you needin'. stop wasting your time i don't know what your ex was thinking there ain't another nigga like me that's be real baby yeah uh. And that's what I'm trying to do for you Need him better Need him better It's about time You got what you need and need Stop wasting your time I don't know what your ex was thinking I'm gonna give you something real You can feel me You can feel another nigga like me That's real baby I don't even need him better Need him better And that's what I'm trying to do Time, I don't know what your ex was thinking. Well, yeah, I can give you something now. real, you can feel. You can yeah. feel. Yeah. Ain't another nigga like me that's real. That Ooh, baby, wow. I don't even need him better. Need him better. Need him better. And that's what I'm trying to decide. Need him better. Need him better. Need him better. And pretty much, man, that's what I do. I like to blend the vocals after I get the mix going. So what I do is I mix in mono, like I said. And to get this plug in, what you want to do is you want to go, like I said, click these arrows, go down to utility. Utility also have, you know, uh, a test osc uh, oscillator. And, you know, that's how um, you can uh, get your speakers going, how to, um, you know what I'm talking about. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. But I had to, like, balance my speakers with that. And then um, go to gain. You're going to add gain, boom, and then this is what you're going to get. Like I said, remember not to touch the gain button. You just want to use the off and on button on mono, and that's how you can, you know, mono on. You can actually start blending your vocals with the beat and get the beat going and stuff like that. And um, that's pretty much it, man. Like I said, I'm going to give you guys this preset, man. You know, all love. It ain't nothing. And um, this preset is for you guys, and I'm going um, to name it probably like R&B vocal or something, lead vocal. 
And um, if 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 you use it for like background vocals, so what you what you want to do is so if you use it for background vocals, what you want to do is you want to go to um the EQ, and you definitely want to take this EQ to like uh 1.0 and just turn off this one. Don't even use this. Just turn it off. And um. You know, that's for your background vocals because you don't want all your EQ to sound the same. You just want your lead vocal to have this on it. That's it. If you're going to use um, background vocals and, you know, bridges and stuff like that, that's going to be paying left to right. You definitely want to just use, you know, you want to take these to uh, 1 dB. And that'll be cool for you right there. And um, I think I touched everything, man. Oh, so if you're starting off and you don't know what to do to get this, to get this um, vocal chain going, what you're gonna do is you gotta bust your you gotta bust your verses. So let's go right here to uh, another one that is sequence uh, sequence uh, sequence Clark. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to bust and I'm gonna go to bust one, which would be hook dry, and that'll be applied there. But you guys are gonna see it empty. And then to load this preset, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to settings, and then up in here you actually see the preset. Once you go here, I haven't uh, named it yet, but you'll see it in here and you can just click on it and that preset will load up for you boom you'll be ready to go you know what i'm saying so i might just do a little a little video on how to load the preset and stuff like that for you guys i should just put it in there with you but this is what we're doing right here hey man it's your boy nbm i think i touched on everything i think i hooked y'all up you know what i'm saying if you didn't know how to mix r&b vocal now you do you know what i'm saying hey it's your boy nbm man y'all take care yo and that's how you mix the r&b vocal man straight to the point Punch him with the hit, punch him with the lead, hit him with the hit, hit him, hit him, hit him with the right and left. You know, it was good seeing y'all again, man. And we got more to come. Like I said, I got those templates I'm finna drop on y'all. Man, I got nothing but love for y'all. Like I said, those for my newcomers who trying to learn this, man. This template is gonna be really helpful to y'all. Hey man, it's your boy NBM. Y'all take care, man. I'm out.